In this video we're going to draw the shear force diagram for a cantilever of length L subject to a point load at the tip of the cantilever and point load in this case will take you W equals 150 newtons. And this is a really useful problem to demonstrate uh, when it's useful to sometimes take your free body diagrams from the right hand side rather than from the left hand side and also in putting the right directions on your free body diagrams to help you with the calculations. So first of all, with all of the previous problems, we've calculated the reactions first. So I'm gonna draw the free body diagram. So reactions. We draw the free body diagram of the entire system. And now, so the reaction forces, what we're gonna have on there, so if we call the left hand side A, so we have R A Y, we could have an R A X, and we could also have a moment, I'm gonna draw that going anti-clockwise, choose an anti-clockwise as my positive, and let's call that M A. And on the right hand side, what I'll call point B, I would have the applied point, point load. So, the point load on the system, which I've called capital W. So if I want to, and I'm not going to calculate the reactions, although I can see straight away that RAY must be equal to W if I take the sum of the forces in the Y direction. However, let's draw the free body diagrams of the left hand side and the right hand side. So free body diagrams. But if I go from the left hand edge A and move along the beam before I make a cut somewhere along that beam, then the free body diagram for this section, I would have RAY, still RAX, and the moment, I'm gonna put them on there for completeness. And if we take up on the left, down on the right for our sign convention for shear forces, V would be pointing down. I'm gonna do the same system now for going from the left hand side. So from point B, I'll draw a portion of the beam before I make a cut and at this right hand edge, I have the point load W. And again, with our sign convention, we would be up on the left, down on the right. And as I've cut on the left hand side, but up on the left would be the direction that I need to choose for my shear force V. As we can see from A and B, the two free body diagrams, one going from the left, one going from the right. And so we could think of X going in this direction or X, I'm gonna call it X dash to differentiate, X dash going from the far right hand side. We get very different free body diagrams. For shear forces, there really is no extra complication with the systems. When we come on to bending moment diagrams, you can see that the free body diagram for going from the left is a lot more complex than the free body diagram going from the right hand side. So as we've done in the other problems, then using this free body diagram, I can almost see on inspection that some of the forces in the Y direction, V, must be equal to W. And in this case, this was equal to 150 newtons. And going back to the original diagram of the system, this shear force must hold true right until I get to the right hand side when I have the reaction. So that allows us now to draw the shear force diagram for this system. So. I'm going to draw an x-axis representing the length along the beam, so the 
There we go. And I see that from the right hand side I get a positive shear force V and it remains constant all the way until I get to the left hand edge and as we would have had if we had gone from the left hand edge first we would have had the reaction RAY which we could calculate to be equal to the point load W or 150 newtons and we have the 150 newtons here at the right hand side so the shear force diagram for the point load on a cantilever is actually constant all the way along the cantilever beam. So we're going to complete this diagram as ever with V in Newtons. And in this case, let's choose X in meters. And finally, that we have the chosen sign convention indicated on the diagram.